Hey, what's going on? So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to get free SSL certificate for your website domain. Now, this video is specifically focusing on cPanel users. However, you should still be able to follow this tutorial if you are not a cPanel user. Also, if you are a cPanel user, um, it may not work for all of you. Reason being, um, for example, hosting companies such as Bluehost, they don't let you install your SSL cert. Uh, certificates yourself so you'd actually have to contact them and get it installed so yeah you will have a problem depending on your hosting company I'm with a hosting company called host Papa and they've been terrific I don't have any issues whatsoever in terms of setting up my SSL certificate so yeah now I'll just move over to my PC and finish the edit for the tutorial which I did last month so as you can see if we put in https colon slash slash you can see your connection is not private so basically we are going to be using this website here this is a ssl for free uh, for this tutorial it's tutorials dot kingsley dot tech now if you have multiple domains that you would like to uh, have under the same ssl cert you can just hit a space and put in that domain but for the sake of this tutorial we are using tutorials.kingsley.tech so you want to hit create free SSL cert and you will be given three options so for this tutorial we're going to hit manual verification and then we're going to go to manually verify at the bottom you're going to be given the instructions just at the bottom so what you have to do is uh, click on the file or files that may appear sometimes it can be two files and um, sometimes it can be one I think it's only one because I'm using a subdomain so we'll go download file so I'm gonna save that within this folder hit save now that file is downloaded so don't do anything else on this page just go over to your cPanel account so this is what cPanel generally looks like for most users it may look a bit different if you're accessing it using your hosting company so you will need to locate your file manager so I'm just gonna open file manager in a different tab if you're using your primary domain which is the domain that you use to register that hosting account then you would need to go into your public HTML what you need to do is create two folders so it's basically you create one folder and then a subfolder so you can go plus on the folder at the top left and type in dot well dash known and then you hit create however when I do this it's going to tell me file exists so now the reason why you can't see it most people have this problem it's very simple you go into settings on the top right and then select show hidden files as you can see this folder does actually exist so if you go into this folder you need to create another folder called acom challenge then you need to go into that folder and then once you're in the folder hit upload you can drag that file directly to the section or you can hit select file there's that file and we can upload it however I'm not going to upload it because I've already done so for this particular domain so that is for my primary domain so here is the home directory and as you can see we have tutorials.kingsley.tech so we'll go into this and it's uploaded we can go back and as you can see the file is there so once that's done you can close that so now you go back to this page and then you can just click here so this will verify that you actually set up the whole folder correctly now once that's verified you hit download SSL certificate so once you hit download SSL certificate it should bring you to this page here now before you go any further what I'd recommend you actually do is create an account to correspond with this SSL certificate now they'll actually notify you three times so they'll notify you a week before it expires one day before it expires 
and on its expiration you need to go back to cpanel and then you need to go down to security and underneath the button ssl slash tls click that click manage ssl sites and then scroll down select the domain that you are you have generated the ssl for so tutorials.kingsley.tech we'll go back to this page and then just click on anywhere in this box underneath certificate you can press ctrl a to select all and then ctrl c to copy go back to your c panel and then ctrl v to paste now this should automatically generate some information here now you can hit autofill by certificate so this will try to autofill all of it it may miss some of them so as you can see it didn't autofill the private key so you'll have to go back select all copy and then paste it in your private key um, I would select enable SNI for mail services then just hit install certificate so there you go that's installed as you can see the SSL website is now active and accessible via HTTPS on this domain which is tutorials.kingsley.tech now if we go here and we type in HTTPS colon slash slash you can see this time it says secure connection and we have the lock symbol for secure SSL so yeah, that's how you get free SSL for your website. Like I said, it's very easy. Now there is one more video that will follow up after this, and it's basically gonna show you how to redirect from HTTP to HTTPS. That's very important, so make sure you check that out. Now, if you're wondering what exactly I'm talking about, basically, if we said HTTP tutorials.kingsley.com, that will still direct us to the non-secure site. So yeah, that video will help you get it to automatically redirect to HTTPS. Anyway, that's pretty much everything. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions, and of course, like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.